So this is just going to be a very short video about device ready, the device ready event in a Cordova app. Now, sometimes when you're building Cordova apps, you start off with the HTML, the CSS, you're getting the interface right, you're making sure your navigation works. And you don't want to have to launch the emulator or the simulator to test that you just want to look in the browser. Maybe you don't want to install the browser platform, you don't need that level of code in your app, you just want to test the HTML and the CSS. So how can you add to your JavaScript file so that it understands when it's being loaded by the browser or it's being loaded by Cordova. So you get a slightly different experience when you're testing things. All right, I've taken a basic Cordova app. All I've done is I've stripped out the comments. I've stripped out some of the content inside the body, uh, changed the title over in my index.js. I just stripped it down to the bare bones. Here's what I have now. That's it. That's the whole thing. So I've got an app object. I'm calling the init method. This is going to start the ball rolling. This is where I'm going to check to see whether or not I want to do device ready or DOM content loaded. Then I'm going to call this and I'm going to write out a message about the fact that it's ready to go. So we'll uh, keep it very simple here. Uh, let's just create a paragraph and write a message inside of it. So there's my paragraph and I'll set the text content of my paragraph to be app is ready to go. And then inside of our body, we'll append that. There we go. So that's the functionality that's going to happen. And right now we just need to know whether or not there is a device ready event. Now, normally when you add this, you're saying document dot add event listener device ready. That's the code that you would write then whatever the function is. So app dot ready. That's the function I'm going to call. So looking at this, you would think that, well, all I need to do is see if this object exists inside of here. If this property is part of the document object, then I should be good. The problem is, however, that this property doesn't get added immediately. This gets added once the Cordova script is up and running. So if I'm looking for DOM content loaded, that's actually going to happen first. Then after this has happened, that's when the device ready event is actually going to be added into the document object or around the same time, the device ready event is going to be added to the document. So I need to do something else. I need to check some other way. I can't just say, Hey, you know, if device ready is in document, that's not going to work. So we cannot do that. And I'll leave that as a comment does not work. We need to do something else. We need to check for some other property. There's got to be some other way of knowing, Hey, am I in a Cordova script? Is this thing going to have a device ready event? So what we're going to do is if we go back to our HTML, you'll see that there are two scripts here index.js. That's our script. And then Cordova.js, that's the one that Cordova loads. So what we need to do is look inside of this file. Inside of here, there's a top level object, just like we've got one called app, they've got one called Cordova, and it gets added to the window object. So if Cordova in window, that's one way of writing this, or we can also do the, um, as an alternative to this, we can also use has own property. This one's going to be a little bit better. Window has own property Cordova. That's going to check inside the window object to make sure that Cordova belongs to the window and not something that is a parent of window. It's not somewhere along the prototype chain. Now this is going to work unless somebody else has added something globally called Cordova that you're also using in your script, which I really hope you're not doing that. So this should be sufficient, quick and easy to write Cordova in window. If it is, then we are going to have this event. And if it's not, then DOM content loaded. That's the event that we want. There we go. So we'll save that. 
this is our test. We're looking inside of the window object to see if there's a property called Cordova that's been created. If there is, device ready is what we're listening for. If not, it means, hey, we're still in the browser. Only in the browser, not the device. And I can leave the rest of my code the exact same, unless of course I've got other plugins that I'm trying to test. As soon as you've got other plugins, you have to have the device ready. You've got to be testing for it that way. Okay, so let's uh, run this again, or for you guys, run it for the first time. My emulator here, this will shut down, restart, and I'm gonna launch the app on here. And what we should see is inside this app object is that paragraph that we're creating. There it is, it's loading up. There's our app app is ready to go. So we know that in here, inside of the app, we got the device ready to launch. And then the other test, let's just launch the HTML file. There we go. DOM content loaded, fired it. So it's working in the browser and it's working in our app. And that's it. That's all you need to do. Just Cordova in window, quick and simple. Hope that helps you out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Uh, I will leave a copy of that JavaScript file as a code gist in the description. And as always, thanks for watching.